Okay, so uh, it's Thursday today. It's day 32 of Yorkshire Marathon training. Um, and today's thing that I have to do, I'm just gonna stop here, is six miles and then nine times 90 seconds fast and nine times follow. So 90 seconds fast and 90 seconds slow, nine times. Uh, I'm now three miles into the, the warm up for that, which is supposed to be easy. But I've decided to mess around with it a bit because if I run six miles, I basically I'll be at work, and uh, and once I'm there, there's not really like a flat place where I can do that exercise. Um, it's uh, it's quite hilly and a lot of streets where I'll be stopping and starting for traffic and stuff like that. So um, I don't know whether it's a good idea or a bad idea, but what I'm going to do is I'm in like a park now and it has a decent, it's got no track in it or anything like that, but it's got a decent, sort of, it's flat, flat as a pancake. Um, good path that runs through the middle of it. So I'm gonna try and do the, these reps here, and then I'll just carry on with my, the rest of my six miles, so three miles of easy, and use that as like a kind of a warm down. Um, <clears throat> so what I'll do is, uh, I'll check in after five of these on how I'm doing, and then I'll check in right at the end uh, maybe even after I've finished, just to kind of update on how things are going. Um, but yeah, Thursday today, and a rest day tomorrow, which I'm looking forward to. I'll talk about that more later, but yeah. Um, 90 seconds fast, 90 seconds slow, times nine, starting now. Okay, uh, that's five of those reps in, and they are pretty hard, uh, quite knackering. Um, yeah, but I'm hoping as I said before, once I've got them done, everything else, in retrospect, just seems so much nicer. I've got a little bit of leg pain, which is kind of bugging me, um, but I'll check in at the end um, to see whether it's kind of still bothering me then. Uh, see you in a bit. Right, that is uh, this kind of block done. Uh, I don't know whether it was necessarily a good idea to to split up the six miles like that because the second three miles were really hard and my legs were like stiff like they are at the end of a, a like a long run like a half marathon or a marathon you know they start feeling like they're starting to seize up or something so maybe there's a good reason why you do those more energetic bits at the end use up whatever you've got left in the tank um uh, rest day tomorrow, which I'm not going to do any cycling. I'm not going to do any anything because I'm so knackered lately. I honestly feel like I need a rest. Saturday, I think it's five miles slow, and then Sunday is either half marathon or a 10k. Um, there is 10k I can do, but I'm not going to do it. Um, but the only half marathon that's available is like the Wimbledon half marathon, and I'm not going all the way down to London just for that. I've done it before, um, but I'm not. It's too far to go. Um, so what I'm going to do is just do my own half marathon, so I'll map out a half marathon route uh, and do it against the clock and I'm going to aim to do it um, under two hours, um, which is the best I've ever done in a half marathon anyway. Um, so it won't be a slow run, but obviously it's not as long as last week and it's nowhere near as long as next week, which is going to be like 17 miles. Um, so I'll see how that goes. So I won't bother doing an update tomorrow um, because I ain't doing anything. Um, so next one will be on Saturday.